Good morning, it's Tuba Billy leaning into the turns, getting on the interstate. Don't do this too much, um, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta get somewhere, and this is the uh, most direct route. Otherwise, it's like seven, ten minutes slower. So, here we go on the interstate. Not my favorite thing to do because it's just, you know, cars everywhere and everybody wants to kill a biker today. So, we're going to do this. And you're going to be along for the ride just in case anything happens. Of course, granted, if anything happens on the interstate, I'm basically dead. <coughs> Especially when I'm already going 75 and not even on the in, on still on the on ramp technically. Oh man, but uh, so I saw that uh, over the, you know a few days ago that Illinois issued a big big gun control law basically banning in a, any semi-automatic rifle that could hold more than 10 rounds. That is basically all of them because anything that's magazine fed can take any aftermarket magazine with more than 10 rounds. Even if, even if the standard magazine has, I don't know, eight rounds, which in a rifle I don't know of any that do that, Um, and then went further to threaten any police uh, jurisdictions that don't enforce it. It's like, oh, well, that's the way you want your government to run. Oh, I'm already, uh, I'm already exiting two miles. Because you know that's not uh, that's not tyrannical or anything. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna ban the manufacture, sale, and ownership of all of these guns. And police, if you don't do your job, we're coming after you. Well, there have been uh, last I saw 20, 20 something counties. That it said, uh, no. Screw you, Mr. Governor. No. We're not gonna follow this unconstitutional law. Rule. And, you know, that's what it's gonna come to. Um, you're gonna have... The federal government is gonna try to make laws. States are gonna have to stand up and say, no. That is unconstitutional. You do not have the authority to make that rule. States, states can't make laws that go contrary to the Constitution. The federal government can't make laws that aren't outlined in the Constitution. It's not part of their duties. And yet, they do it all the time. Now we have all these government agencies making all these rules and regulations and laws. Not a one of them has been elected. Did you elect anybody to the FDA? Did you elect anybody to the CDC? Did you elect anybody to um, ATF? Did you elect anybody to, I don't know, did you elect Tony Fauci? No. And so it's it comes down to these um, power-hungry bureaucrats and organizations that will ruin the country. Is it misting? Huh. It's misting. Great. Uh, so to to that, you know, I'm I'm thankful that Brian Kemp is still the governor in Georgia. Um, 
I mean, I don't, I don't like everything he does. I think he could have, could do more in some ways. But he's pro gun. Stacey Abrams is not. I was telling my wife if we, if Stacey Abrams wins somehow, then we are. We're buying some more guns and we're stocking up on ammo because it's only a matter of time. I mean, George, George is close enough to being a blue state. We've got two, two Democrat senators. I mean, when the, um, when the opposition is Herschel Walker, um, I mean, football player for the Georgia Bulldogs, yeah, great guy, yeah, but... I mean, he helps the uh, sheriff's department in Cobb County, but uh, other than that, not much experience in that. Um, not as eloquent as, uh, say, Raphael Warnock. I mean, R Warnock's a preacher. That's his trade is to be a good orator. And I've, you know, I've written letters to Warnock, and I'll give the, give him credit for this. He writes back. I mean, I don't know if it's him or somebody in his staff, but I get a letter back or an email back from the office of Raphael Warnock, Reverend uh, Doctor. Is he a doctor? No, Reverend Raphael Warnock, Reverend Senator Raphael Warnock. Anyway, um, and so I wrote him a letter. This was, I think, a couple years ago when <clears throat> um, when the federal government was trying to pass laws, you know, increasing more gun control and stuff like that. And I wrote him a letter and I outlined and said, "Look, this is not something in the Constitution. Please, um, as my elected official in the federal government." You know, please stand up for our rights to keep and bear arms and the right to defend ourselves. And he, his letter was basically, oh, you know, while I support the Second Amendment, we need common sense gun control. The same old blah, blah, blah stuff that you hear from every single left-leaning politician that doesn't like guns. I support the Second Amendment. Second Amendment isn't absolute. If you want to use use guns to to protect yourself from a tyrannical government, you're going to need nukes and F-15s. Remember that, Biden? So, the state, so Illinois, I mean, great, you got Chicago. That's, uh, Chicago's got some of the strictest gun laws and the, some of the highest gun crime. <clears throat> It just goes to show that gun control laws don't work. In fact, they, they know they don't work, and so they've stopped saying the word gun control. They've started saying gun safety laws, gun regulations. And um, yeah, don't, let them, don't let them pull one over on you, because it's still taking away your rights. They're trying to make criminals out of law-abiding citizens. And that's all that more gun control will do. So if you're in Illinois and you own a semi-automatic rifle, your leaders want to make you a criminal. They want to lock you away because you own a gun. You've never committed a crime. You've never threatened anyone. Heck, you may not even shoot your gun all the time. But uh, you're a criminal now because your elected leaders say, yeah, we're going to make these illegal. If you own one, you're, it's illegal. Turn it in or else. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, they say, oh, we need more common sense gun laws. Well... At what point do you want to stop? At what point when you say, oh, well, we passed that gun law and it 
didn't help. Um, oh shoot. Oh gosh. Woo! 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 Oh. Oh my gosh. I can smell the burning rubber on that one. Oh. Let me get this started again. Oh. Whew. That. Oh, I'm sorry. That got my adrenaline pumping. My back tire was sliding. I found that escape route. Oh, it just kind of stopped. Everything just stopped. The car just stopped. Ah. I don't even know what I was saying. Don't follow too closely to cars. Oh, they got me shaking a little bit there. Whew. I could smell the smell the burning rubber squealing that tire. There was no stopping that. Oh. Anyway, be safe. Where was I? Oh yeah, you're you are now illegal. You're a criminal because um, your leaders say so. Ah, to that I say, come and take it. If you want it. You're going to have to come and take it. <sighs> Recovering after that now. <clears throat> I'm going to have to check my tire. Oh, be excellent to each other. Watch this intersection because this is going to be fun. <clears throat> Tuba Billy signing out. God be with you till we meet. He, he, jeez. No. Oh. I'm, I'm not having it today. He just slipped on gravel. <laughs> Uh, God be with you and God be with me uh, till we meet again. Ooh.